Welcome back to another episode of Get Them Together Garage. Today, <clears throat> we're gonna do some more patching. We're gonna show you how to make a patch for patches you can't get. You know, call them patches of hula hand. We'll make any patch work. I need a few things though. Don't get too carried away yet. Most of you usually have it, so that's that. What the hell? Tape ball. So, what we're gonna have to do is, since if I got some yeah, not the freezingest temperatures here, but it's at least warm enough to work in the garage. That we're gonna need a welder. We're gonna need some patches, which, if you're like me, you just buy things in bulk variety. And this is where something called creativity comes into play that you're gonna need. And, and we'll go with we need creativity, wisdom and some craftsmanship, because you're gonna have to make some stuff work, which that's gonna be anything, but don't be afraid. It's just kind of, you make it till you make it kind of deal. So usually once you start making stuff, you can kind of shape it to the car with a hammer, do what you gotta do to make it fit. But in this case, I bought what's supposed to be rocker panels, but I believe these are slip-ons that you're gonna have to cut apart anyhow to make them fit the vehicle. So, since I was thinking about it and I had the all time smart idea to buy an extra one of these, cause this thing needs two rockers still, to buy an extra one for the back, which I wish I'd known that before I did the other side, but now we're gonna have to make this side look like that side. So it kind of plays out cause these are actually bigger than the original lip here. So that's all fine because we're gonna be cutting this off pretty much like right down the seam here, which you can see it's all shaped for the rocker. But what we're gonna do is just kind of cut that, use this lip to, which I'll show you different ways to do this too, is to kind of just kind of slip it over where this all is and just kind of make it fit up in here. And I'll be really about it. You won't really need much body work on, on this except for the welds where you're welding. So we'll have to make that work. We're gonna have to make a step out a little bit more. And uh, that's gonna be really about it because this is just kind of, she's a goner. She's cracking and doing her own thing. She's got weight reduction. So we got that going for it. But there's gonna be different ways which I'll show you when we start getting into it. But the other thing I need, I think I said Walter, don't remember. We'll go with it. Oh, is there anything else I need? Not the moment, no, not for metal work. And a hammer, you're gonna need a body hammer, ball peen hammer, whatever kind of hammer you got. Um, I mean, sometimes even like a claw hammer for uh, construction would even probably work for some stuff too. Um, but you, for this, we shouldn't really need too much other than to maybe pull an end over just for up in here. And then that should be fairly simple. Um, I might use a which you see me use on the other side to crimp up the bottom to make a lip. We might have that have a seat on it so that way it sits flush against the bedside or you can either butt the panels together which is just kind of button two panels together. And that's another way to do it or you can make a sleeve which I've done for stuff like this but my stuff I either like to butt them together or at least try which the crimping part kind of makes a sleeve for itself. So you're kind of doing that in its own way. So that's two different ways we're gonna figure out how to do this. Um, I'm gonna try to keep it to the wheel flare as close as I can. Um, and I'm also gonna throw on this bumper and try not to throw my back out doing it because it's bulletproof basically is what I'm saying. Um, so that's that. But uh, I think all in all, I think we're kind of ready to start getting into this. Just gonna be doing MIG welding, nothing crazy, no taking that I don't know how to do yet. If you do, let me show you on that because I don't know how to do it. We'll learn together on that, okay? But before we jump into this too far, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, comment, you know, hit the notification thing of when these pop back up because right now it's sporadic. Sporadic? Sporadic, something like that. So we're gonna make that work. So, uh, let me get some things resituated and we'll go and do from there, okay? Let's go. Alright, so let's try to get this bumper on there. 
hopefully, because this thing's gonna be a disaster. So brace yourself. It's gonna be loud and heavy. It'd still be nice if one of you guys would come here and help, because, you know, it's hard to lift some heavy stuff by yourself. That's why you gotta go to the gym that I don't do. Woo! Okay. You should just lie somewhere under there. Maybe. Maybe up over top. Where I think it may or may not have to go. I'm not sure yet. You probably look at the side already body work to make sure it don't mess this up, right? That's what I'm thinking. Make sure it stays underneath. All right, I got the micro persuader. If it don't go on once, it's gonna go on twice. Easy now. How's that gonna line up? That ain't gonna line up. Hmm. Well, some a gun. She's way too short. Okay, well, that's the number one problem. And I see a number two problem. It's way too short. Nelson? <laughs> Not a hundred percent, but it's here. Hmm. Well, we're gonna have to refigure out the bumper. So that's a no-go. It's for some reason way too short. Drop her down, pull her back out. Throw this right here for now. Okay. Well, let's scrap. All right, so a few things before we start cutting. We need to get some measurements. So this is showing just shy of about a half inch on this lip. And yeah, as you can see, it's slightly bad. So that's this side. We need to go measure what the other side was showing. Come over here, and this side we're gonna do roughly about. We'll make it easy for you guys to see. It's about. Boy, I wish I could see underneath of that. Yeah. Well, if my numbers are showing correctly, it looks like it should be about five eighths. Oh no, I lied. Did I? It's about five eighths. So we're gonna need to make sure that the bend that we put in this new panel, we we'll have to make sure that stays roughly about that 5 8 mark. Or we're gonna, that's where we're gonna have to keep our little bit of a point. So we can make it roughly work pretty friggin' close if I can say. So what we'll do is we're gonna cut from this seam all the way back, that's the inner seam. And then what we're gonna do is probably just step this back a little bit and bend it the opposite way to be able to make it land on there so that we can rest against it and we can pretty much go from there. So I also need to get another measurement. But this is gonna be roughly, uh, let me say, if I can get it to stay. And that's gonna be roughly about 20, we'll say roughly about 20 and three quarter, which it's gonna taper back a little bit further. So let me actually get a little bit higher. We can always trim a little bit more off. Then we have to add for the lip on the back side. So if we add this roughly then a little bit, we're looking at roughly about 20 and five eighths. So let me put you back up here. If I can figure something out. Okay, so that's gonna be that. Move be a little bit closer. Honestly, I might even just use 
from what the looks of the back side, which it's fine if we have this lip on, it's just gonna strengthen it, but we can probably honestly go with the edge that's already on here if I can get you down. Or maybe just use this edge slightly. Eh. It's got a bigger edge to it. We'll see. So what did I say that was? That was going to be, well, it says it's about 21 now. Okay, we'll go 21, roughly about 21 and a half we'll do just to compensate for the uh, bent lip. And then we'll have to trim it to size and hopefully I got a marker that works because I have no idea what I have. Good, I do have a marker that works. Oh, and another thing you need, a marker that works. Don't use the ones that don't work, okay? So we're gonna zoom you in over here. Okay. Let's see. So we're just gonna do a rough layout, which this actually already has a slight taper to it, so that's gonna actually be better. And we'll cut down here, we'll mark it down here. We'll go maybe a smidge over. We might go, I don't know, 21 and three quarter, just to be safe. Another thing you're gonna wanna use that I love using, because it's been one of the best things I've ever bought for metalworking, because it's always there when you need it, and you can always get a nice straight edge. So it's a metal square, which I've honestly used this thing way too many times to say that it's not useful, so we can always get a straight line with this, which is why I love using this thing. I would recommend you guys to get one if you do any metal working too, because this just makes life a lot easier. And so on contour parts, it's gonna be a slight bit harder, but you can still kind of get a rough idea of a straight line for what you need, like that. And then, and here you can kind of do the same thing you keep it on the lip bring it up kind of like that so it gives you measurements you can find out angles of what you'll need uh, I forget exactly how I figured out how to find an angle and like you can do something like this I forget how you found it up. do something like that but that's fine what we're gonna do now is go in about a half inch I can find out where the half inch may be. Eh, I can't do that. Do it with this. Okay. So I like to just use regular numbers because you can actually see them on this. But we'll go. Oh, two and five eighths. We'll go right there. So that way, that we'll know that that is our bending points. And get a straight line on that. There you go. Straight down. Up here is probably not really gonna matter, but we'll still cut it anyhow or bend it around here because we're just gonna need a rough thin idea. And then we'll just know that we're off the just going cut that back line there. So that should be about all the measure we're gonna need for this because it's gonna be pretty much a plug and play kind of thing. So let me get this cut out. And then we'll start on getting the one from the car cut out. Then we'll figure out what to do after that. So let's do a little bit of a time lapse to see what we can get out of it.
So now that we got that piece all cut out, I'm gonna do a little bit of comparing. See how somewhat close that they actually are. And as you can see, they're pretty close in uh, size. Which this was, that piece was pretty much done for and was kind of life left to go. But, what we can do, which I left a little bit of an edge on this, that's right where the original, or, well, I don't know if this was a replacement panel or what they did here. It feels like an original panel, actually. But it was all riveted to the uh, truck itself. But I left it a little bit longer, so that way I can, uh, just kind of weld to it, make it a little bit easier to weld to. This I might uh, trim up a little bit, which we're not going to need pretty much from here to this lip. So I'll cut that out, but then I'll show you a little bit of a way to uh, get this all figured out, which we're going to go to the break and actually remake the edge on this real quick. But I'm going to make my cut to get rid of that there so it can sit inside the panel. This all work here too, so I need a little bit of a cut through there. So let me cut this and then we'll go back to the break and figure out how to bend this. Alright, so we got a little bit of a change of plans since uh you know our vice at home <clears throat> can't do the vicing I need to do or the break. So we gotta make our own meaning make our own, meaning use what we got. And my usual go-to is usually a center block, which I don't have any at the moment because I'm currently out of them. But this hair bumper that's about an eighth inch thick will do just fine for this uh, petite metal we got here. So I just kind of started flattening it a little bit, but it's better than it was, so. Kind of massage her down a little bit. Then we're going to try getting the inverted part of the bend in this. To figure out what in the world we're going to do. Because this is where being creative comes into place. And having, what is it called? You're going to have wonder. So you got to wonder how you're going to make this. But you need the creativity to do it. So, there we go. Anything is a vice as long as you don't destroy it. So this is what we're doing. This is my re go to kind of deal. Look at that. Friggin' wonderful. Now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get that inverted bend in there. That's gonna be the real issue. Let me uh I'm gonna see if I got something that can help me with this real quick. To you. So, next best thing is again, improvise. So we're gonna need to be a smidge bit longer than what we had. I'm just gonna maybe tap it back down enough. Something like that. trying to get a lip there so that's good let's go and uh, see how it kind of lines up in on the uh, pick them up just a second
again, anything is your hammer. So, we're gonna come back over yonder, and we're gonna see how that kind of lines up with it. Okay. So this is going to kind of probably line up like crap. That's fine. Uh oh. Hotting up the Owens. Oh wait, wait a minute. Come on. Oh. Or the Z's. Yeah, I just need something to move it out enough. That's friggin' almost perfect. I'll probably sit in something like that. That'll work. I'll have to cut a little notch in here so it can sit back in there, but that'll be fine. Actually, no, I might not even need that. Yeah, we'll figure it out. I'll cut one piece off at a time and decide on what I need and don't need. But look at that. It's almost almost mint. Is that straight? Eh. How's that? Eh. How's that? That's close enough. Okay. So now for the tedious part, which is making it fit now. Now we got the rightish angles that I need. We can go on ahead and get some more of the stuff in there that we need. So, I'm gonna clean up the edges of this a little bit. I'm gonna have to narrow this back down just a smidge. Probably about. this cut up and we'll see what we do okay so slight change up of what we're doing apparently there's a lot more mud up here than I thought which is fine the only bad spots I'm seeing that I had a little bit of uh, bubbling going on was just a little bit hair hair a little bit hair nothing too crazy it can be welded up so I'm not too too worried about it because it'll clean up pretty well um, but all in all we got the panel fitting pretty good. I had to do a little bit of testing on and off to get it to fit half the inch or a piece in there. So, uh, yep. there we go. So, I'm going to kind of clamp it in like that where it's got to be. I'm going to just kind of pull it out where it needs to be. But, uh, it's not too shabby. So pull this out a smidge. Like it. Like it. So that way this can all kind of do its thing. I'll be able to spark a little plug wall the way that those won't be there. I still have this sticking out so we're pretty much about ready to actually start welding this thing on. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get me some uh, well through primer spray on the lip of this here. At least, eh, we'll see. I might just do like quarter way down on this so that way it's covered. And then I'll worry about doing the rest on the outside. So I'm going to spray the inside with the well through primer too. I'm going to take a red scuff that, scuff it down and I think we're better, pretty much about ready to start welding it on. So let me get this prepped up and we'll start welding.
go and give her a little clean off. See what we get. some mud work on this just about over there needs a little bit more uh welding up as you can see but we'll get to that in a little bit and worry about it another time just i want to get this all done so that way that's solid which i'm very happy with i'm really glad i actually bought those panels i would really recommend you guys if you're doing any of these jeeps to buy these if you're doing a rocker because these are actually really nice to be believe me you me whatever i can try to say but yeah i'm really happy with that um just a few little things you gotta touch up little spots here that are probably gonna be little holes so and may or may not put me in a little strip right here not sure yet so uh we'll figure that out but um all in all this turned out really good i'm gonna put a little bit of e-coat on this or uh well I'm actually going to do that now while it's still kind of warm. That way it won't rust up until the next time I'm on or working on this. So that way this will be at least able to go outside if need be. This still has a coating on it, so it shouldn't in theory rust up anymore. There we go. I am very happy with that. All we gotta do now is just uh, get them ground down and we can start throwing some mud on here. But I'm gonna wipe off the back and we'll be good to go. Well, that's about doing on what to do with the patch at least. But at least now you kind of have an idea if you ever have to, you know, put a patch into anything. You just need a lot of creativity, an open mind, and just kind of go for it. I mean, there's not really a right way to do it. I mean, there's multiple right ways to do it. There's not one set right way to do it. Because somebody would have done something different than what I would have done. This is just the way I like to do it. So, I mean, if it helps you kind of, you know, feel more confident to do your own kind of patchwork, by all means, do what I did. Um, but it's something that's uh, not exactly said to be the right way. I mean, there's no correct way to do any form of automotive repairs. There's not one set way. It's just one of those things that you just have to know what works best for you and this is what works best for me. Um, it turned out really good. I'm very happy, happy, happy with how it turned out. I mean, it looks really good. I'm really glad I found those uh, rocker panel uh, covers because it, it's really it's really nice. I really like how that turned out. Like, as you, you can tell, if those who have been watching around are either starting to really like the videos or, you know, you're just sticking around to see if I do anything else stupid because not always the brightest bulb up there, just saying. But no big deal. If I can, like I said before, I'm happy to give you guys hints and kind of help you guys if you don't know how to do the body work or if you're just getting into it. I can help you out by just kind of watching these and you get a rough idea of what to do. It's all about just doing more of it and you get better at it kind of deal. I mean, there's... It's like any other hobby, you just gotta have to take time to do it and eventually it'll pay off in the end. Um, I've just been fortunate that I've been around it longer than a lot of people have been starting off in the field and I just happen to do it more. It's just one of those things that, as you guys know, my dad, he's a body, or he, was, he had his own body shop and uh, for as long as I can remember, I've been kind of Putzing around with cars since I was in diapers, so I mean, it's 
I just, I don't know how to explain that. It's just been around it a little bit longer, so it's, I just like doing it. I mean, it, that was fun. I got that blasted in probably within, I don't know, two-ish, three hours. I mean, I probably started around here, probably around 6.30ish, and it's already eight or, it's nine o'clock. Two hours just to get that all in. I mean, it's gonna need very minimal body work, so I mean, I'm happy with it. I mean, take your time. Make it the best you can to fit right, and then weld it in so that way it lines up perfect. I mean, it'll be easy body working on that. So um, I appreciate you guys for uh, sticking around and watching and uh, tuning back into the channel. Uh, I got more. Well, coming up next is going to be getting this stuff all ground down and getting the bed ground on the bare metal to do some another uh, epoxy coating. So that's going to be on the next video coming up. Uh, not sure when I'm going to get to it because it's supposed to be getting cold here again. So I'm going to do my best to get everything metal worked the way it needs to be. And we'll kind of jump into getting everything epoxied and then do the body work. So thank you guys for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next episode. Thank you for watching.